So North Sales has been uh, in Auckland since 1978. Um, the company's obviously developed quite a lot over those years. It was pretty small to start with and now it's become one of the you know, main players in the global sale making scene really. Pretty big operation. We moved here about six months ago from our location down at, in the Viaduct. So um, we're finishing sales anything from Optimists right up to, to Super Yachts, you know, sales that weigh over a tonne and, uh, and anything in between. So um, yeah, it's, uh, there's 30 sale makers out there just constantly working, building sales. There's three shifts, so the place runs almost 24 hours a day just to keep up with the, with the workload. Racing boats buy a lot of sails, you know, every, every couple of seasons, well basically every season they're replacing two or three sails, keeping the inventory going. You know, a race boat can have 10 to 12 sails in its inventory, so it's a, it's a lot. Probably for us it's a real mix, we do a lot locally of small boats and cruising boats. Um, probably the, the main uh, kind of earner for the company would be super yachts and, and Grand Prix. So a lot of um, you know, TP52s, the, the Maxis, Mini Maxis, all that real high-end uh, race boat, and, um, and super yachts. So the steady stream of super yacht sales come out of this loft. Norse were the pioneers of the computer age with sail design. So it was actually, that was done in New Zealand by Tom Schnackenberg, who was you know, heavily involved in America's Cup. So he, um, he you know, was the first to do the, the computer modeling and actually you know, design, you know, design sails in a computer, have a mold shape in a computer, and then transform that into a, a plotter and cut each panel out and stick them together with a, you know, a certain shape that's specified purely by his design software. In the last you know, five years or so, the, the materials themselves, the, the fibres haven't changed, just the way they're used has really changed. They've gone from, you know, previously they were woven, so where you've got you know, fibres going overlapping just like a, you know, like a bed sheet or any other woven fabric. And then they got turned into yarns and, and laminates, so mylar films, yarns, um, mylar film and then sandwich, so you're using a bunch of twisted um, fibres which go inside the sail. And these days they're, um, they're done in filament form, so you know the, the fibres completely broken down to filaments and then laid out in, in tape form over a full mould and, uh, and laminated or you know, into one composite membrane. Once the uh, salesman and the customer have worked out exactly where the, the product sits, what they want, if it's for a cruising boat or for a racing boat, that's stage one. So um, once we've established you know, the right material, the right kind of build, you know, it's all as compromised between performance and durability. Then it goes through measurement stage, so detailed measurements, you know, to create a, a 2 or 3D model in the computer, depending on how, how detailed it is. And then, you know, so it gets designed, and then it gets put through a program which uh, does the uh, analysis of the loads, so that's pretty detailed as well. It's a lot of engineering that goes into that, and then from there it gets um, either put into panel form, so cut out in a plotter, or it gets put into a um, into a membrane where it goes, you know, full size over a full size mould and made in one piece, which is what the race sails tend to be done like. The basic Dacron sails are cross cut panels, so they're just basically going straight across. So you know, mains for a 30 or 40 footer might only have 10 panels in it. But if you do a radial laminate one, it could have 30 or 40 panels in it. Um, and then when you get to spinnakers and genicas, they can have as much as 400 panels in them on a big sail. So it's, it's a lot of panels. And each panel has got a certain amount of shape put into one edge, so you're sticking a curved edge to a straight edge, and that's creating the shape. So every single one of those panels will have a certain amount of shape put into it. Well, some people think we just cut a big triangle out of a big bit of cloth and bang an island in the corner, but it's not quite like that. There's a number of reasons. A cruising boat wants reliability. You know, when he can no longer get from A to B with his last sail, um, then, you know, having a reliability and knowing that sail is going to get you there is quite a key component, especially when you've got your family on board and, you know, you don't want to have problems because the sail is a pretty key part of a sailboat, obviously. For, um, for racing boats, purely it comes down to performance. And there's also a mix in between. There's lots of boats who do a mixture of racing and cruising, but every boat wants a bit of performance. That's, you know, no one wants to have another boat go faster than them. Well, we've been involved with pretty much every Volvo race. We've been involved with Team New Zealand since the start. And in the sail making scene, everyone knows North Sales New Zealand is part of you know, the pioneers behind the, uh, the computer programming, computer modelling of, of sail design, really.